So I was working out here in my garage and I'd forgotten that uh, when I got everything situated out here that I put up a souvenir picture from the Georgetown Loop Railroad um, and it's of me and uh, some of my friends and uh, some family members and it reminded me of that trip which was probably the only bachelor party that the Georgetown Loop Railroad had that day. Let me tell you about it. So the Georgetown Loop Railroad, of course, is in Colorado along Interstate 70 in Georgetown, Colorado, uh, between Georgetown and Silver Plume. The old railroad line uh, is just a section of what used to be there. And uh, it's a tourist train now. So on our way to Breckenridge, these guys took pity on me and, well, they said, all right, Dan, it's your party, whatever, let's go. So, so we pile out of this minivan, uh, six, two, six, seven guys, and we go up to the railroad and I'm just as eager and giddy as I can be and I can tell they're like, okay, whatever. But when we get on this train, you go over a, a looping trestle, it's really cool, and the train, once it gets to Silver Plume, the old mining town, it has nowhere to go, it can't turn around. So that's where the shops are and everything, they do a quick service up there, then they back the train down the siding and you can see it come right by, it's pretty cool to see. And, yeah, my, all the all the guys' faces were kind of lighting up. They thought it was pretty cool after all. The equipment there is authentic steam, and some of those locomotives have been transported in from as far away as Hawaii. Of course, it's a narrow gauge railroad, very typical of that region around Colorado where they needed narrow gauge to negotiate curves and negotiate uh, steep grades. So yeah, you get to see all aspects of the train's operation. It passes by and you can wave to the conductor as it goes by. And of course I did, like all the other kids that were on the train that day. There's also some other family friendly things like paying for gems or you can go to kind of a mock up of a mine and they tell you all about how they built the thing. Passing, you know, alongside the tracks, there's remnants even of an old tunnel, which they were gonna turn into a mine, but then they just decided to abandon the tunnel and just use it as a mine anyway. And then after a short stop in Silver Plume, and the train just backs right back down the mountain. So you see everything in reverse, and uh, that old steam locomotive is uh, on the other end of the train, just kind of pushing and keeping everything from coming down, but not too fast, of course. Even though we might have been the only uh, bachelor party on the train that day, I may have made a couple of uh, new rail fans in the process. Who knows? They all like to tease me for my hobby and for my obsession with the railroads. Well, my wedding was just a few weeks after that trip back in 2019. And fast forward a few years now, we've got three kids and I'm looking forward to taking them out to the Georgetown Loop. I'd highly recommend it for anybody that's just passing through that area of Colorado. It's a quick round trip, it's great for families, it's pretty inexpensive, and whether or not you like the railroads, you're gonna get a good taste of that high alpine life there in Colorado, and a little bit of the history of the area with mining and with railroads. Oh, and by the way, this picture, they, they of course, they would be willing to take it for you and sell it back to you for a little bit of a fee. Which means that 
when we enter the bridge, we'll be four feet higher than when we leave the other side. If you look also off to the left side, you'll see a stone monument by the upper road there at the end of our parking lot. That was put there by the Colorado Historical Society in 1949. Now, this bridge was originally torn down and scrapped in 1939. And the higher, highway department put that there in 1949 to commemorate it. And little did they know that the bridge would be rebuilt and the trains would be running across the bridge again for the crew of the train.